Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Oxygen Not Included, episode 51. So pick it up where we left off. We are continuing the very beautiful observation deck project. And I'm going to continue the build here as well. One thing I got to look out for is uh, this pocket of steam is potentially pretty devastating as it is unbelievably high pressure, very, very hot steam. I'm going to need to make sure to vent this steam to space and not back into my base. Uh, so I got to be careful to avoid that for now. Else I'll have a giant spill. I do have some uh, feedback that I got from you guys. So one is from Adriano. Adriano mentions it would be wise of me to employ use of more carpets. So I will get some additional carpets around my base. So I'll put a carpet right at the beginning of this checkpoint. And then I'll put carpets at the start of these rooms, which aren't, they're, they're not doing anything just yet, but they will eventually. Uh, then additionally, I want to move my Nate Park sign, move it over here so that uh, the park sign doesn't block the branches. Uh, another thing is it wouldn't hurt to have a plastic, plastic ladder here. I don't mind my dupes being able to change the, uh, the floor that they're on, so that's not a problem. So this unpermitted food here is something I noticed at the start. Uh, this unpermitted food is as a result of me having too many Atmo docks. Uh, and not allowing my duplicates that are out there to come back home. So let me get rid of two docks, two suits, and now we're full. Uh, speaking of suits, let's go ahead and cancel this one and build three steel... Jet suits. So these jet suits allow you to blast around space uh, like an EVA suit. Uh, as you can see, they are um, they have the same insulation, but they have a different requirement, which is now they have a fuel tank. Uh, to make a jet suit, you're also going to need access to petroleum, whereas previously it was reed fiber. Uh, so because it requires petroleum, you're definitely going to need something like this, where I have a pitcher pump that is able to pr provide petroleum on demand uh, to a jet suit. I forget what I was doing here. I guess it really doesn't matter. I was turning this back to nor I don't know. I won't touch that. Okay. Uh, other other feedback. So, yeah, let's continue on making this project. One of the things I wanted to do to make it look nice is, and it it's a lot of manual labor, but to drywall up the uh, the entire space up here. Just because I think it looks prettier. I know that's a really bad reason to do something like this, but uh, that's what I'm doing. That is what I am doing. We'll put in some deodorizers as well. It looks like there's some polluted oxygen. Uh, Power mentioned that I can get rid of this transit tube access and just force the duplicates to use the fire pole to go back home. Uh, and that's something I could easily do. And then I'm going to... Uh, what are some other projects? Another project is to... Let's get... Um, a power tra a few smaller power transformers to be able to provide for the station and then I can start removing this stuff and a new printable bomb lily sure So in here, we are going to need a suit checkpoint, a jet suit checkpoint, uh, oxygen, speaking of oxygen, yeah, here's my vent for it, uh, maybe some way to deal with uh, carbon dioxide, passively, so I could put in a well for carbon dioxide. I also wouldn't mind there to be some plastic, more plas uh, use of plastic tiles than I currently had had set up. Just so that we can move around faster. Is 
So that's looking good so far. Who's idle? Angelia? Oh, you're stuck. You're not idle, you're just stuck. There you go. <laughs> There's a significant difference between being idle and literally being stuck because uh, I marooned you. So the park is all set. We still have a little bit more wiggle room to make the park larger if we so choose. Uh, another thing I noticed is that I severed the automation wire that goes down to my southern geyser. So let me get that back and then we'll re-wall this up. Or actually, you know what? I can just mechanize airlock this in case we need to go through there uh, sometime in the future. But right now, the geyser down here is not... Uh, this hydrogen, rather, is not being um, utilized. Also, everything got a little bit too cold in the ranches, so I'm going to dig up the wheeze warts. We are drywalling. Now, almost all of this drywall is just cosmetic. The only drywall that's helpful is one that have the back vacuums. But I like to just sort of make it all look drywall. Just a personal preference. It's totally unnecessary and I just wanted to point that out. It's a cosmetic thing only. But... Happy to do it, just so that things look pretty. Wow, look at all the builders. And we're using regolith, I think, as a uh, as a deodorizing material. All right, this is looking real good. Now here, I knocked this out to make a joint watt plate and then the conductive wires here are going to make their way to where my suit docks will be but I wanted both heavy watt and regular the heavy watt is so that uh, if and when I make solar I can you know add the solar straight to my main power grid and then the power transformers for the conductive wires is just for the stuff inside of my observatory that's going to need um, power. But I don't want, I didn't want it on the main line because if it was on the main line, uh, it would, you know, this observatory would be ugly. And believe it or not, I didn't want it ugly, so. All right, looking good. And that's going to be the focus. So let's see if I fixed my... Yes, I did indeed fix this issue. I'm going to go down to 1,000 grams so that we can help to heat up the hydrogen. And raise the body temperature here so that I can, uh, can put mirth leaves back. Get this pretty again.
And speaking of which, I hadn't, I haven't fixed this yet. This is still cooking. Uh, what I can start to do is I can start to work on expanding this. So that we don't constantly have this issue. So I'll, I'll start to excavate this in here and then sweep it up. But this, this is going to be lower priority. I'd rather have my observatory. So I'll just regularly replant. Which is annoying, don't get me wrong, but regularly replant instead. Oh, uh, speaking of which, this looks good. So uh, let's go ahead and... Aim to clean this up here. These all this tile that got deposited. Just to just to, to tidy up. And um then I will start to lay this out the way I want it. I might actually well I can't build there. I might actually want to raise the level of my ceiling. But let's let's go ahead and deal with this uh Let's deal with this uh, steam pocket before it becomes an issue, because that is a lot of steam that I don't want to have to deal with. So I'm first going to tidy up and sweep, and then I'll, I'll deal with the steam pocket. So until I actually have need of power, I'm going to have these power transformers off, because otherwise they just generate heat. And as you can see, we've got mafic rock storage here, and regolith. Regolith also functions as a uh, as a uh, a medium for uh, filtration, which is cool. So I'm going to go with an old school airlock, just because it doesn't need to be perfect uh, for this project here. And I probably want to raise the roof here uh, of this facility as well. So I'll wait on that though. Okay, so my hydrogen is being replenished. My natural gas, not so much, but this is, I'm sure, idle. Uh, but it's erupting still. Next dormancy in the 62 uh, cycles, which is plenty of time. I could, if I ever get low, uh, tap the geyser wherever it is down here. Uh, here it is. Tap this geyser. Uh, but it, it's just a, it's such a low priority thing. I don't really, you know, I might not ever need more natural gas. Especially given that we're about to add some ethanol uh, from the arbor trees. All right. What is all? I think all my duplicates are just waking up. I'm just sort of curious what they're working on. So the trick here is, of course, trying to keep the temperature of my observatory area uh, temperate and livable so that my scientists can do work without being too cold or too hot. And also disallowing the use of um of suits in here just that we breathe the atmo and we're not using up the um we're not using up the uh the oxygen that are is in our tanks Just trying to tidy up as much as we can. 
And if we take a look at the colony reports, as you can see, our travel time has been going down immensely, which is great. Uh, I guess hatchling. For the barbecue. All right, how is my hydrogen doing? Yeah, it's definitely warming up. As you can see, the the heat is now going to spread as the pressure up down here gets, you know, lowered. All right, so now we've got uh, like an old school manual airlock. And that's going to allow me to uh, to tap this steam without it blowing back and being a big old problem for me. Uh, Angelia, don't do that yet. Okay, you move away. And now some of this steam is going to create a bit of a mess, but hope not enough of it to affect my uh, water lock. That was the hope. That's why I did all those, the double airlocks. But it still looks like I'm going to need to sweep some of it. But most of, most of the steam got captured behind these doors here. And I'm going to lock the doors so we don't go back there until the, uh, until the steam is gone. Yeah, and as you can see, the, the steam is sort of gone. And some of it became water uh, that we'll have to mop up. But uh, most of it, most of it is gone. Oh, the Mojave just got stronger from the mopping. All right, yep. I could have, I could have tried to tap this steam and like used it, but honestly, that would just be more effort than it's worth, in my, in my opinion. It was definitely going to be easier for me to just ditch it. I can, actually, you know what, I could just deconstruct this and let it pour out below. Alright, let's sweep this up. Get all this stuff out of the way. And I'll, de I'll deconstruct that later. There's no rush for me to do it now. Alright. Steam's going away, which is great. It'll eventually evaporate. There was just so many... There was like tons of it. Literal tons of steam. Uh, so some of my oil lock got sort of washed out a little bit. But not to the point where I'm going to lose my liquid lock. Uh, I just wanted to... Mop this up here. So that there's more capacity in the future. And then, let's go to Utilities, and continue to Drywall. Done. So the concept here is this will all be pressurized. I think what I'll do is I will let the carbon dioxide well to the bottom. Which means something like this. Steam behind this door is gone. 
I can break this one down and then lock the other one until this is gone. And this is just literal tons of steam, so it's going to be a little minute. But that's okay. So, the idea here, uh, down here, is that I'll have oxyferns. Uh, let's set up four of them. And the oxyferns here are going to help to passively convert my carbon dioxide that outgasses due to my duplicates breathing back to oxygen. So, we'll get that set up. And then this ladder here might actually be uh, somewhat of a permanent ladder. Uh, so if that's the case, let's go ahead and drywall this here as well. And build this up. Locking the door. Yeah, that would create quite the puddle. It'd probably destroy the water lock, to be honest. Unless I had more. Unless I broke this tile and let the water spill out. But then, at that point, it would be a lot of mopping. And I don't want to have to do that much mopping either. Alright, so taking a look at this lock here. Let's... Lay out a perspective station. I'm not going to build it yet because the vacuum would damage these docks. Uh, so the regular docks are three tall. The suit docks, the jet suit docks are four. So the height, this height is okay. Um, I'll probably have it a higher ceiling on the other side. Um... Which means, let's go start to decorate this. Because I do want this to be a pretty area to work in. And to move around in. So let's put a metal block. I can put in some flower pot. Put in some corner molding. Once we have a corner, um, that will be a minute. So put in some crown molding. And a plastic ladder so we can move around faster. Now, of course, this buddy butter won't survive until I start oxygenating the area, but that will come in due time. That also means if the other side is going to be taller, we'll have uh, look something like this. Okay, that's a good start of the project. There's so much steam. You'd think having just pure ex space exposure would go faster, but I'm glad it doesn't because you could easily vacuum nuke yourself. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty sad. And by that, I mean, you know, get to a point where you're vacuuming out your base, your, your all of your breathing, everything, like very, very, very quickly and accidentally. That would be not so good. Well, we have a pretty good idea of how we want to lay things out. We just need to start laying them out. 
And as you can see, if you take a look at the decor, uh, we got maximum decor right around the center here. And I do intend for it to be prettier and prettier and prettier as we work more on this. Alright, let's take a look at it else. Because it's easy to get wrapped up in one project. Our kick house look fine. Our ranch pops still could use another directlet. At some point, I'm just not going to need many more reed fibers, though. And that day is coming soon, so... It's definitely possible that, like, I just won't need more reed fibers. Um, and we can just kill off the drecklets. Uh, so this here... Has moved most of the material over, but it doesn't have line of sight to this storage box, so we'll break some of this down and let the uh, auto sweeper sweep up the remainder. Now, our fire pole still goes all the way down, as do we have plastic ladders. Um, I don't dare. What are the melting temperatures of this plastic ladder? It's. A oh, melting point. Uh, you know what? The melting point is. Mm. I don't think it's worth having plastic ladders lower than that, just in case. Oh, Arbor Acorn. So if we have another Arbor Acorn, that is good, 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 good news. Uh, let's finish off this Arboretum. So I'm going to put a storage bin and a critter drop-off point. And then... Uh, Oh, I can't even put ladders here because I think the branches are starting to, to grow. Uh, and then a pneumatic door. Alright, so we're going to have the pit plant the last arbor acorn for us. Yeah, as you can see, the the the, the branches here are like 3 and 5% growing. They're just sort of invisible at this moment. No one's ever going to sweep this up because of the checkpoint requirement. It's kind of funny. Alright, so now, uh, let's go plop the seed here. And it's possible that I'm make another Arboretum, especially if I want more ethanol power. So then all of my Oxyferns... Uh, all my Oxyferns can be planted here. And this is just to, to passively convert CO2 uh, in my checkpoint over to O2. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I do want to sweep all this stuff up because soon it won't be accessible. So we'll go ahead and do that. I know I'm using priority 9 a bit too much. You needn't remind me. So, I do believe that I made those jet suits, right? Let's go to clothing. Yes, I have three jet suits. All set up. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove this tile here. And, uh... And have the suit fall out. Dayman! I believe that that is your last skill point that I'm putting in for a while. Paddy Wagon, I think you're the only one that needs one more skill point, and then I'm kind of maxed out there. So, at the moment, I don't have a nature reserve working, so let's go critter drop-off point for the pip and a wrangle. Uh, where was my, my pip is here. Wrangle for this pip. And then lower this critter drop off point to one. So we put the pip where we want it. There we go. 
Now I can move the suit. Is that paddy wagon leveling up? Oh, there we go. So now all of my dupes are maximum level. As high as I want them to be at the moment. Which is awesome. We're definitely getting this hydrogen station set up. And soon the heat in here will be a thing of the past. I think I'm going to actually break down the, uh, the planter boxes. And not worry about that for a bit. Uh, but I definitely want to sweep this up, like, immediately, so that the phosphorite doesn't, uh, liquefy. So we'll do that. Okay, so this is looking really good. Really good. Uh, let's go ahead and deconstruct these ladders. So, over here, I'm gonna have, let's say, how many can I fit? Is really the question. Uh, atmosphere checkpoint. I'm not building this yet. I'm just laying it out. Six docks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six docks seem great. Another gold statue. Um, and then I'll probably have four docks over here for jet suits. So let's cancel this out, knowing that we're going to build it eventually. And then I need to make room for my jet suits, which will be over here. Uh, this is unreachable. So I don't have a ladder here. God, that steam is still leaking out to space. It was a lot of steam. It was a lot of steam. Now a lot of this regolith will fall as soon as the mafic underneath it is mined out. Um, but I'm not ready to deal with a kind of uh, earth moving. I'm I can be patient. So, well, the other side here is going to look something like this, where we will have, just like the regular Atma suits, we'll have jet suit docks. Um, one, two, three, four. And then the checkpoint, like this. And that gives us sort of an idea of how large this is going to be. It's going to be out here. And then, after this, it's going to be another liquid lock. And then they'll be able to get to space. So we, we're going to need to mine out about this far. But I want to cancel those builds until I'm ready to pressurize. But this whole, this whole area is going to need to be uh, excavated at some point. And then a liquid lock on the other side. And, uh, and then presto changeo. Once we get through the liquid lock, we'll be able to blast around space and do fun stuff like that. The sort of standard space exploration. That'll be good. Now, I am exposing this area here to the vacuum of space now. Which means... Um, Yeah, it, there's some ramifications for that. Yeah, let me try to... Hmm. I'm thinking of how I want to deal with that. I'm just going to deal with that like this. So everything... Everything here will be accessible through here, and then I don't have to make a priority to sweep it. Okay. Cool. 
So let's go and get the plastic flooring done first. And I might want to switch this over to uh, non-tile, depending on the space I require. Drywall. I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go, so probably not that far. But I'll get this out of the way. Right. I'm probably going to want a, a little bit more refined gold. For like another statue. So we'll find a little bit of gold. Uh, my pip is about to plant that seed. And then can be put back to the other drop off. Actually, don't break these down yet because they block the plant spot. Uh, let's see if this is valid. That's, that's another good question because this Joya might make it invalid. So five right. Okay, so there's only two plants within range, as far as I could tell. Um, but actually, it might, might be true. Six left. Okay, nope. This is out of range, too. Cool. So, yeah, soon this pip will hit the, uh, hit the seed, and then we'll be able to have our uh, nature reserve again. Come on, eat the seed. Mr. Pip. Eat the dang seed. I'm sort of curious, am I missing something here? Let me double check. So this, six, six, five, five, only two plants are seen within range. Should be valid. I, I could pull up this Joya anyway, but I don't think it's, that's not what's blocking it. Come on, man. I'm going to replace these with the ladders, in case they are the issue. Right, come on guys, who's doing this work? Thank you. Should be no issue now. There we go. Uh, another thing I'm going to want to do here is let's get the crown molding built. Again, I'm not exactly sure how far I want to go. I'll figure that out soon. All right, Pip, did you do it? Oh, God, you haven't done it yet. Wait, this is three Arbor Corn? Arbor... S I did not know I printed out three. Come on, little dude. Plant. I could definitely start another Arboretum if I wanted to. Another Nature Reserve or something if I wanted to. If uh, ethanol is really a power source that I want to draw from. I don't get why he's not planting, though. This is totally a valid uh, spot. There we go. Thank you. Oh my god, you're a pain in the butt. Alright, uh, Wrangle. Delete. Destroy. Destroy. 
And then you'll be wrangled and plopped back. All right, so now we're gaining the bonus of Mage Reserve again. Alright, so let's lay this out one more time. Um, so we'll have Jet Dock, 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 Checkpoint. And then at the end of the checkpoint, we'll have art. Um, then here we'll have our mesh tile air lock. And then on the other side, uh, space. I'm not missing anything. I'm going to let the oil and stuff just like drip everywhere. But easier to sweep up or mop up, I think. That's most excellent. Oh, so if I have four docks here, uh, let me make one more jet suit. I'll put the Joya back. Sweep this up. Speaking of sweeping, yep, this auto sweeper has run its course. Let's break it and all of the support stuff around it down. Done. It's a whole lot of gold to be able to reclaim. Oh, also the power as well. Done. Awesome. All right, the steam is definitely thinning out now. About time. Holy moly, about time. Down here, I'm gonna make a little catch basin. But on the other side, it doesn't really matter. Because this side, it can't be exposed to vacuum. But the other side, it could. Depending on how much I care about the map. The other side, I'll probably do something like this. Just to keep this from venting out eventually. Because all this would vent out. Give it enough time, it would vent out everywhere. Because there's a free, clear path here. So we'll just get that other side. In fact... In fact, just having it here is fine. Something like... Uh, like that. I'll build this. That'll work. Now the bottle emptier here, let's get crude oil dumped. Instead of enable auto bottling, uh, I am going to find the crude oil myself so that we don't make a big old mess. So let's mop up, or actually, here, 
sweep that. That's a low, a low volume of oil, right? Because we don't we don't want high volume oil. It will it'll get really messy and go everywhere. All right, and that will be the start of the water lock. And now we're almost airtight here too. One more granite delivery, and we'll be airtight uh, for for this for this area. As you can see, there's even some CO2 getting caught down here. Uh, you know, there's some micro uh, micro atmo here now because it's it's taking in some atmosphere from over here. Uh, actually, speaking of which, uh, I am going to want this enclosed so that this doesn't vent out weird. I sort of miscalculated. So we'll get that done. All right, getting very, very, very close. My hydrogen, my natural gas is fully pressurized. Uh, this is now hot. In fact, it's maybe too hot. So we'll... I'm going to stop drawing from it. Uh, let's do 4,500, and, uh, we'll put, um, Weez Warts back in the middle here. But, hey, it's full of mirth, and as a result, the decor has gone up. I could always add in statues and stuff to make the decor a little nicer, but, uh, I'm fine with the way it is. And to this end, we are, oh, no, we still need one more directlet. To a little water filtration. And yeah, this episode's going to run a little long. Uh, we don't have a dedicated storage space for um, for the Arbor Acorns, so I'll put them in here for now. Just as somewhere to, to know that they're there. Alright. And then we're actually very, very close to being able to... Uh, Oh, yeah, okay, so the steam is gone. And then we'll be able to seal up the base. Which I'm very, very eager to do, or seal up the uh, the observatory, I should say. Now, just in case of strikes... Oh, I have a lot of... Uh, I have a lot of steel, so I'm going to set up bunker tiles as a... Fail safe. I don't want my. I didn't want the edge to be bunker tiles, and the reason being is bunker tiles are steel and therefore conduct heat like no other. Uh, but I will make them outside of the insulated tile, and this is this is for emergencies. I don't think that this is going to be an issue. Um, but it's for emergencies in case we take strikes. And then what we're going to end up having out here is... Where is it? Is it... I always forget where the observatory is. Because you only make... Well, it's station, I'm sure. Yeah. A... A telescope. So I'm going to set the telescope, um, I'm going to make it out of steel and set it up here. And the way this works is it's going to need to be sort of airtight like this. And then the utilities drywall like that. And that should do.
And that allows me to put down some more furniture. So let's put corner crown molding here before I forget. And I'll work this this here last so we have access over here. And this is for sort of impact damage prevention, the bunker. It's, like I said, it's given the amount of steel I have, I can do it, but it is unnecessary and I just wanted to make it clear that it is unnecessary um, now this is what what's gonna end up happening here is when I dig this out it's going to rain down this hot regolith on me um, which I'm you know fine with but I just wanted to make let you know that that's what's gonna happen oh more whizworts sure All right, so we have a little bit of oil here. Now let's switch it up to be petroleum, auto bottling, petroleum. So that we don't get stuck, I'm going to prioritize this ladder, even though this ladder is eventually not gonna be all that necessary. Well, or alternatively, I'll just leave that be. Oh, boy. The crude oil. Yeah, no, it did spilled. It was too much and filled up the... Uh, I should have been looking better. We'll try that again. And here, as you can see, the regolith is dumping. It's what it does. It dumps out. Well, this is a little awkward time to switch or to end the episode, but uh, we did get a sizable amount of what eventually will be our observatory built. And we managed some of the other problems as well, like the uh, reduction of power due to the transit tubes and stuff like that. I... Also might want to expand for another Arboretum, but that I can leave up to you sometime at a later date uh, if you if we want to have more Arbor trees growing or not. If you have any other feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will catch you next episode. Farewell.